So, have you thought things through? Then come with me. Yeah, I'm joining the Polar Express. The I'm about to cut off this, cut out this entire song. <laughs> I'm over here. Come with me, take the journey. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Oh, Himiko Pom -Pom. told Pom Pom about your You're situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express. And everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Getting the whole Genshin Bob. Valuable resources I'm wasting, but they don't matter that much. Here already? Hmm, I was just engaging in pleasantries. How can I help? Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Ah, Pom Pom remembers Himiko saying that you saved her. Hmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. You can't have your eyes on me if I remove them, can you now? Himiko likes using the phonograph while Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like... There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Hmm? Who's there? Oh, it's you. The door is not locked. Come in. Can I help you? Feel free. 
This is open to everyone on the Express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the Express. I enter the collected data into the Archives data bank. I try to catalog the people and places the Express encounters, and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the data bank. Do give it a go. I'll be entering any new information we encounter on future journeys, so drop by any time to check it out. We also have a shortcut on the terminal device. Seems like you have some deep misunderstandings about me. I have matters to attend to. Feel f unlocked. Should I go in? Uh, better to wait till the room's owner comes back. Ahem! Hi! Hello! Attention all passengers! Attention all passengers! No, but I was coming now. back because uh, he's in the back end there, isn't he? He won't be here, so just leave That's him right. be. No, I was coming back. Oh, yeah. I was just going to unlock the friends list. No, I was going to come back. A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Yeah. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. I need to hit level 10. Okay, everyone. Hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March. Always running around the express like a headless chicken. Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. like that before but it wasn't stars for me though it was lights when I first woke up after being rescued from the ice I could see clusters of stars in front of me I reached out for them automatically but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights the whole crew was watching me it was pretty embarrassing Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. I don't remember a thing. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A <laughs> way to get everyone down, huh? Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about 10 minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you! Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Yurilo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven-day stop over time extended indefinitely. Hmm. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a stellar run, as always. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Don't worry, it's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herta isn't able to fully understand them. But at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Eurelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. It's empowering, looking out at a world from a window like this. But when you set foot on the planet itself, you realize how small and helpless you really are. Just like them. I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again!
because you three made a great team back in the space station. My guess is that if you spend even longer together, we'll see something even more impressive. So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for Eurelo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Hmm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Eurelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial what? obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. No, that's why I moved on to the. I'm, I'm trying to speed run through the ice planet. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with what? a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the I planet. I believe so. By normal. Unless I found. I mean a temperature a that just about allows for humans. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. You're talking on the back right, right? Yeah. As I expected. Yeah, I'm uh, Before you back came, right, top back right. Whenever March wanted to go anywhere, yeah, I killed it. Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. I didn't find anything else though. I looked. I, I found I found uh I talked to Himiko or whatever her name is. Uh the doll bitch, and um she she let me unlock the button where you can air with the bubbles. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose that I assume the trailblazing station. objective this time yeah. is to find the Stellaron on Eurelo 6 and I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Yeah, just go. She's in all the way in the back where you first spawned. No, you have to find her all the way in the back where you first spawned. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? Really? I find that hard to believe. Oh, you can take the last teleport. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Hold on. Well, are you ready? Uh, I can't. I can't tell you where it is because I can't access my map right now. Did you talk to Don Hung? Really? Relax. Well, are you... When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice. A very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. What? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> mm. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. All right, here comes the Eurelo 6 Trailblaze team. I don't know, I've seen like five. Eurelo 6. We're here. <sighs> it really is 
just one big snowball. Well, the trailblaze path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Me neither. If only we had a snowmobile! We never get to bring anything cool from the express. Do you remember what you did to our Excuse last me? snowmobile? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase ice powers. And Don Hung, uh, he's got that mystique. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. So, how long does Copycatitis last? Neo Nurse Joy is still available. No, I said it is. It's still available. Let's go! Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing! but he thinks you're lying to him. This place still hasn't been corroded, yet fragmental uh, monsters have already made it here. Fire. I fear the Stellaron may be exerting a sig- Ice planet? I don't have a Himiko. I have an Asta. Asta, Asta, whatever her name is. Yeah. I feel like though she's gonna be bad. Did you ask me what type she is? Good night. Good night. You'll be missed. Oh, he he went actually to bed. I'm so glad I'm gonna have to go find all that out and delete like all that audio.
Oh, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of sussy things that I gotta go hunt down. Uh, I think his is gonna be worse than mine though, cause he, you know, my audio clips are separated, unlike his. He, he can't separate his audio. Mine is separated, so Discord is on its own track. Where his won't be. His will be in with all of his audio. Significant influence so, to on be honest world. with you, if you know you were just sitting there and you're like, I'm gonna say the funny word in the middle of the cutscene, Logan's gonna get rid of all that audio. <laughs> Too late to repent. I go ham. I can remove all of it, so it doesn't matter. I no can't. Manners, I, huh? I have that ability. <laughs> she has a staff on. What was that? So how much longer do you think? Logan's Reach the play end this? of the story in your own way. Honestly, it's a turn base. I don't think I don't think I'll hate a turn base. Um, yeah, yeah. That they till that becomes you know like very apparent. Okay, so I want to do how long? How many did you do this little tree thing? Uh, okay, so that's ice and yeah. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Uh, my, why is my camera like this? <laughs> what? Hey, get what? out of there or you'll shiver to death. The one behind me. It wasn't a tree thing. It was like a little plant with like gold coming out of it. Yeah. Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. I mean, do, uh, that's where you can use the support app. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand, or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. You're out! I know you are. My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely it doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jappard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Interesting name. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but... Fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a Silvermane guard. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog's soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. 
And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. But, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silver Main guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them! It's now or never. Over to you, dear friends. Hey, who do you think you're? A one-time enemy. Bladed Squad! This is our chance. Why is no joke? <laughs> 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 No interest in conflict. A one time end. Speak up, my turn. A one time enemy. Let's make it quick. Wait. <laughs> Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sampo okay. cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Relinquish your resistance. Time for some sword play. Uh, so I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Please, 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 please. Looks like victory! Uh, rules are made to be broken! Better up! That's a set! Wait for the time. <laughs> On my command! The truth of life and death. Revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Check. Fight. For glory. Link.
Blade in flight! Let's go. Practice is over. Swords descend! <laughs> Play hard, win big. Oh. Step aside. I have no interest in skipping. In the name of preservation! And the prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects, not now. Take them away. Silence! What kind of nonsense are you? As you were, we must not be tempted into careless judgment. Look at their relics. We've never excavated anything like them before, and I haven't seen anything similar in our museums. Exactly! Uh, and we even have photos! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one! Behold! Yarilo 6! <laughs> you mean to say that this... white ball? That's here? <laughs> That's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. The Supreme Nothing Guardian. More. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog. The City of Preservation. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the Eternal Freeze descended without warning. 
Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He sure saying some weird stuff. Marked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. <laughs> we saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're lacking in intel. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the Architects braved the doubts and derision of the people, never wavering from their construction of its defenses. History has proven that their decision was the correct one. The Architects named this fortress after Klepoth, Eon of Preservation. Under their direction, humanity has withstood external enemy attacks and held off the Eternal Freeze. Even today, we resist the Fragmentum's corrosion. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Rest easy. The Madam Guardian doesn't care about formalities. Not to mention, you've only just arrived. It would be unexpected if you were familiar with Bellabog customs. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madam Kakolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> yes, Mother. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. <laughs> Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. 
The Architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Uh, do you think anyone's gonna know what you're talking about? We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds, but every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. You can see us as kind-hearted, interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. <clears throat> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. FYI, we're pretty awesome. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way oh, possible to help you locate the Stellaron. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. It should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Oh, the demons. They whisper to her. Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. She's the big shot! Definitely got that Queen of the Castle vibe going on! Oh, so 